today. From MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, this is Matt Football on EA Sports. and the New York Giants taking on Taylor Heineke and the Washington Commanders. That's an afternoon probably best suited for skating in Central Park, but we're across the river and we are in for a cold one at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Today, rivals square off in the NFC East and we've got a great matchup between the Washington Commanders and the New York Giants. Sly, the kicker, stands ready. And we are underway from MetLife Stadium. Taking it about the one. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Here come the Giants, led out by their former sixth overall pick out of Duke back in 2019. Daniel Jones under center. We knew about the great mind coming out of Duke, and we saw the athletic ability and the potential. Watching it all come together and get better with each passing year, that's been fun. He can throw it deep, throw it short, and of course take off out of the pocket and beat you with his legs as well. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now Jones. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Little trouble thus far on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. Throwing Jones. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. Only two yards, and it'll be a punt on their opening possession. We're able to get the completion, but unfortunately not able to get the third down conversion there on that play. And I like how the defense approached that one. They knew where the first down marker was, and they decide whatever you want to have, you can. You're just not going to get the first down. Excellent tackling right there. Now here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. That'll go as a 42-yard punt, but a net of 32. They had a 10-yard return. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. So out comes the Washington offense onto the field. They'll be brought out by a player who was undrafted back in 2015 out of Old Dominion. Last season, his first as a starter, it's Taylor Heineke. Let's face it, you don't see too many Old Dominion alums suiting up under center in the NFL. And in fact, Taylor Heineke, the first ODU quarterback to suit up for a regular season game, not to mention doing well in the playoffs. This guy's an absolute fighter. Fought for every chance he's had in this league. Attitude, determination, 
those carry over to his teammates very well. Now a thousand yard rusher a season ago, Antonio Gibson with it. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's Heineke. He'll get this into the hands of Antonio Gibson. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And now one yard to go on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll run with Gibson. So not a lineman, but the tight end instead this time, drawing the holding call. And more and more of what you're getting with tight ends are guys who are much more receiver than blocker. They may be willing, but that might not be their thing. Oftentimes, they'll be the ones getting the penalties. And how about the dime look here? Six DBs on third and inches. Daring them to run the ball. Throwing. Heineke. Thomas brings it in. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. A very early momentum changer there. Actually a dream killer for the defense because they forced a third down. Felt like they had a good chance to get off the field defensively. And then they got hit with that big play. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Heineke to throw it. And that'll be complete to the running back, Gibson. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Well, we know he can run the football too, but he's a good pass catcher. That's been on display here, Charles, on this opening drive. And we certainly have seen the benefits of what he did in the offseason, which was spend more time with wide receivers, working on routes, working on cuts, in order to make himself a more complete running back and even more of a threat downfield. They run with the Alabama rookie, and that's Brian Robinson. And the Commanders are going to have a first and goal as he's inside the 10, down to the 7. On Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Here we go now on first and goal. They'll run with Gibson. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short game. And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Heineke now shakes off the sack. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. Well, it looked like a quick hitter, a three-step drop. But when it's not there, what do you do? He elects to try and escape through the mass of bodies up the middle, and he does so and picks up positive yardage. This is third and goal. And this Giants defense, they have withstood the test thus far. 
Looking to throw. Heineke looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. Touchdown, Washington. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Commanders are on the board first here this afternoon. Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down, score points. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to stop them on three and out. We're going to take the ball downfield and score. But he also told them how it was going to happen. They're going to run this. We're going to stuff it. Then we're going to take the ball. They won't be able to keep up with us. And they got it done. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. So that drive goes eight plays, and it's finished off by a Terry McLaurin touchdown. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The Giants' offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. Good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Back to throw. Jones. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Instead of the first, they'll have to go backwards for another second down try. So if there is a silver lining, though, it stays second down, and they still have an opportunity to pick up a first down before they have to start their downs over again. After the penalty, they go with Barkley. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll go to Barkley again. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what'll be a third and four. As usual, the hallmark line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Got a man, that's Richie James. Now he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. The time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, be able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. He 
in Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And room there to work it inside the 25. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Here's the option going right. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. Boy, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front, that offensive line. They've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Looking to throw. Jones. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. The commander's defense holds, and that'll bring up fourth down. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. So Jones off, Graham Gano on here for the New York Giants field goal. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. Trailing, it's seven to three. So from an offensive perspective, at least able to get on the board here right in front of the two-minute warrant. Yeah, now it's time to talk about complimentary football, isn't it? Because if the defense can force a three and out, there could be enough time on the clock that they can get the ball back for their offensive guys and maybe put some more points on the board before the half. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. This taken in at the goal line. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, called it the 26. The commander's offense with Taylor Heineke in charge heading back out. He was 4-4 on that opening drive, including the touchdown pass, as he'll try again here to duplicate that success, starting with a first down. Got this complete to Jahan Dotson. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that will bring up second down. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. Working with a second and three. Now Heineke. That's out to the flat for Gibson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 10 yards there, good for a Washington first down. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. First down. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. 
And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Looking to throw again on second down. Heineke, middle of the field. He's got McLaurin. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 31-yard line. Now we get a stoppage because, as you can see, a member of the commanders in some obvious discomfort. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. And they'll throw again, Heineke. Buying time to his left. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit. We decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage but it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. Throwing again on second down. Heineke over the middle complete. It's Thomas. Now Washington gonna use the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. This is caught. Touchdown, Washington. Logan Thomas, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Commanders will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. And what I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. And that'll give us momentum going into the second half. Give us that cushion that we're looking for. They got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Slide for the PAT. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it was capped off by the Logan Thomas touchdown catch. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. The Giants now going to take over late in this first half. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. Jones now throwing to start the drive. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. First and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Flush to his right. He's got Bellinger. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So the big play nullified a legal forward pass. 
And maybe we know why they were able to get such a good chunk of yardage on that play. That pass was illegal. So the illegal forward pass also cost him a down, and now it's second and long. Operating from the gun, Jones. James has got it, complete. Commanders bringing out the nickel package on third down. Back to throw. Jones is pass into the hands of Bellinger. And he gets this only to the 41. Not near enough for the first. Fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. We'll call it a 42-yard punt, three on the return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. One final possession for the Commanders in this opening half. And with a 14-3 advantage already, we'll see how much they want to try to push things, if at all. Clock at 20 seconds to go in the half as they come up first and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. They find some open field here. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. They get 17 there. Good for a commander's first down. It's a gain of 17 yards. First down, commanders. So we have come upon halftime, and it's the visiting group from Washington who are out on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you got to expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon God. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. Second half about to start. The Commanders have the lead. They'll get it first as we are back underway. Taken at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here come the Commanders for the first possession of the third quarter. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Second half begins with a run by Robinson, and he'll push his way forward to about the 32. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. The last run got six, now second and four. 
to throw is Heineke. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Well, that's a good piece of quarterbacking right there because he certainly felt the pressure coming. The alternative, getting sacked for the first time. He didn't like that option at all. Did a nice job saving yardage by throwing that one away. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. On the draw, it's Gibson. And he is going to lose yardage here. Fourth down now after a loss of two. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. Here's Tressway now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. And he'll get this away into the ice. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be giant football first and ten. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense him saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And they will have the football deep in enemy territory all the way at the 10-yard line. Every week we hear talk about create turnovers, create turnovers. In particular, they wanted to force some fumbles. They got one right there. And it shows you how the game has changed over time. It used to be good enough for a guy to get a sack of a quarterback in the pocket. Now, if you come to the sidelines and you didn't knock the ball free, your coaches are upset with you. All right? So if you're a quarterback, it starts all the way back in the youth leagues. Take care of the ball. Take care of the ball. Take care of the ball. Because here come the defenders. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Now Heineke. And that is incomplete here. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step toward forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. Third quarter from MetLife Stadium. Here's a second and 10. They'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And he's just going to throw this one out of bounds here. Nowhere to go with it. Incomplete. I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be, in all honesty. He avoided his first sack of the game, and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Looking to throw. Over the middle, he gets it to Gibson. Touchdown! Antonio Gibson from 10 yards out. And the Commanders take the force fumble and convert it into six points. Well, CD, you know he's got great options at wide receiver tight end. I love how you laid that out. So many options. You maybe forget about some of the ones that you should be covering. And they made them pay with that one, didn't they? You forget about the guys in the backfield. They're eligible, too. Sly on for the extra point. And it's 21-3. to three. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it concluded with the touchdown pass to Antonio Gibson.
Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Fields it right around the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Another drive coming up for New York's offense. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 23. On play action, they'll throw. Oh, a contested ball here, and it's going to be caught. It's a gain of 34. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far, and never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Off the play fake, Jones. Kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Up the middle with Barkley. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Check, check and two, check and two. Operating from the gun, Jones. And now he'll fire deep downfield for James. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. But well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he's on to punt for New York. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. Well, the football changing hands here, and as this offense takes a field, Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. A first down throw for Heineke. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. And he'll get this one up to the 26. He'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, expected passing situation. And the Giants will go with six defensive backs here on third. They're going to look to throw. Got a 
an open man finds Gibson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll set up to throw. This pass hauled in by Dotson. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. They'll set up a throw. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Gibson here running out of the gun. And he's going to get this one down to the 45. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They're going to us about right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Washington on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This will be third and six by Samuel. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and, and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. First and 10, it's Robinson. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. A give up the middle to Gibson. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. The loss of one, now a loss of two, and they're staring at a third and 13. Well, they went back to him, but the results were similar, so I highly doubt that he'll get another opportunity here on third and long. This offense, two for two on third downs on this drive. They're in for a tough test here, though. Third and long. They'll go again with Gibson. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. Here we go. 
So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This will be from 56 yards out. And this is going to wind up left. Well struck, but it's no good. The New York set to take the field. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. To throw again on second down. Jones. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. They lead big. And a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Here's Jones on third and two. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But they trim that lead down into the game. They've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Back to throw again. And that is incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Looking to throw, Jones. 
Now he'll escape to his right. Sees his man along the sideline. That's Slayton with it. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. Second and goal from inside the five. Back to throw. Jones. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Benjamin St. Juice. And the Commanders are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20 yard line. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception. Washington about to close this one out as they are down to a knee. So a victory here for the Commanders. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last point of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no point were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For that, we sign off from MetLife Stadium.